Now let's take a look at how we can offload this computation to the GPU. So here's the code we had before, and we're going to replace our update with OpenCL. So let's take a look at the changes we need to make. First, we need to go in and we need to set up OpenCL. So here we're going to have to find the OpenCL device, the context, and create a queue for submitting the commands. Then within our loop here, we're going to go through and we're going to replace our calculation with update OpenCL. And this is where we're going to do the work. Otherwise, nothing else changes. Update OpenCL is going to return the same output and use the same input so that we can then use our find range on that and then we'll swap the results at the end. Okay, let's take a look at what's in open C update CL. So update CL is going to take in the data that we want to process, just the in and out. Remember, this is being called by our C code. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to load the program from a file, and this is the kernel that we're going to execute. Then it's going to create an OpenCL program. So we call CL create program with source, and we give it the program text. Now we're going to compile it. So we call CL build program, we give it the program, and we tell it what device we want to compile for. So that'll go ahead and compile the program for the GPU. Then we're going to go and create the computation kernel. So CL create kernel is going to go into the program, find the kernel called update, and give us this OpenCL kernel object that we can call from it. What do we do next? Well, now we need to create the buffer object so we can get the data to the device in OpenCL. We're going to have an in buffer and an out buffer. We're going to go ahead and create both of those. So we're going to create them for our context with CL create buffer. And the in buffer is going to be read only, and the out buffer is going to be write only, and we're going to create them at the correct size. That's the size of the data we need. Now we need to copy the data over to it. So we're going to take our in data from the C program and we're going to copy it to in buffer and we're going to take our output data and we're going to copy it to the output buffer. Then we're going to set up the arguments for the kernel. So we're going to tell our OpenCL kernel that its zeroth argument is the in buffer and its first argument is the out buffer. And finally we're going to enqueue our kernel on the device. So we'll set the global dimensions, that's the amount of parallelism we want to be the size of our array, and then we'll enqueue the kernel to the queue, the kernel we want, and we'll specify the dimensions. Now, it's going to go ahead and run the kernel, and then when we're done, we need to enqueue a read to read back the data. So here we're going to read back the contents of out buffer into our C array out. We're going to wait for everything to finish, and then finally we're going to clean up, releasing all the structures that we created. So that's what update CL is going to do. It just goes through and replaces the update calculation we're doing in C with an update calculation on the GPU. Now let's take a look at what the kernel code is for this. So here's our kernel code. This is what's going to run on the GPU. It's called update. And it has two inputs, or well, has a float input and a float output. And let's see what it does. Well, the first thing it does, it finds the size of the array we're going to process. And it does this because we need to avoid computing if we're on the edge. If we're on the edge and we try and access data off the edge, so here we are not on the edge and we can access data, but if we're in the corner here, we'd have problems if we tried to access data off the side because we'd end up crashing. So we check and see if we're on the edge. And if we are on the edge, we go ahead and return so we don't process there. Otherwise, we go on and we find out which point in the array we're supposed to process, and then we go and do the processing. So we load all the data from our five-point stencil, and we do the computation. And what you see here is it's the same as the C code. We're accessing the in array at the right places, and we're writing to our out array. So the kernel code is the same as the C code, except that we need to deal with the fact that instead of having two for loops on the outer loop here, we're being executed for every thread on the GPU, and we need to do the right thing if we're the right thread. All right. So what did we do for update CL? First, we loaded the code. Then we created a program. We compiled the program. We created a kernel so that we could call the kernel from OpenCL. We then created the buffers so that we could put the data into it. We wrote the data into the buffers so that we could send it over to the device. We set the arguments for the kernel so that we could launch it. We enqueued the kernel so that it would run on the GPU. Then we read back the results, so getting the out buffer back and putting it into the C out array. Finally, we waited for OpenCL to finish, because OpenCL is asynchronous, so we need to wait for everything to be done. And then finally, we cleaned up. All right, so that's a lot of work just to transfer this stuff over to the GPU.